How in the world do you ever figure out what supplements to take as an ageless, maybe you call yourself mature woman? It's a jungle out there and we don't pretend to have all the answers, although we spend a lot of time researching. So today we're going to just tell you what we take. Hi there, Robin and Dana here with Lean Healthy Ageless. And if you're a woman who's 45 plus that's looking to achieve your best health and your best body, no matter what your age, you are in the right place. Like I said, we're going to cover in a really whirlwind approach, the list of things we take together that we both take, things that only I take, things that only Robin takes, things that we take occasionally. And we're not intending to teach you a lot about each supplement. We're going to tell you why we take it, but just to give you an overview. And also we wanted to tell you just from the start, we're not recommending that you take all of these. We just wanted to share with you because we get asked this question all the time. What do you take for supplements? We've done a lot of research for our own health issues. Plus we see a naturopathic doctor that has recommended them for us, but by no means are we saying you have to take any of these. Okay. So let's get started with our mutual list of things Robin and I take most days. Okay, you start because this is one of your favorite products. You're of right. Life. Actually, <laughs> it's my. It is Cora Mega Fish Oil. Now, it doesn't have to be the brand that I use, but I do love that brand. But Omega Three Fish Oil is essential from life to death. I take it for several reasons. Number one, well, if I'm going to be honest, it's great for the skin, mm -hmm. but it's also great for the brain, great for the heart, every system of the body. Okay. okay the next product that Dan and I both take is called HPA Adapt. And it's literally a supplement that helps support the hypothalamus gland, the pituitary gland, and the adrenal glands. And we really take it to help with stress, stress on our body, so our bodies are not hopefully producing too much cortisol. Um, it just really is beneficial for women our age that are dealing with managing stress in their body. Number three that we both take, zinc. It's an essential trace mineral. Uh, the, one of the main reasons I take it is immunity. And the second reason is I take it at night because it helps with leg cramps and I tend to get those. So we take vitamin D3 K2. And we've actually done a full video on this. So we'll include a link to that video to give you all the details, but it really is essential. Our vitamin D levels start uh, diminishing as we age. In fact, the ability to even absorb vitamin D from the sun diminishes as we age, so we find it essential. We like the liquid drops because I put them in my coffee every day. The next one is CoQ10. CoQ10 is a mighty antioxidant. It's great for the heart. It's great for the brain. And so we take it every day because we need all the help we can get. Okay, type 2 collagen. We take this supplement because type 2 collagen helps with joint cartilage, helping to build up and support the joints. And you know, as we aging women get those achy joints, we need all the support we can get. The next on the list is vitamin C with flavonoids. The flavonoids help in the absorption. Most all of you know, vitamin C is great for immunity, but also for things like arthritis. Also, we both take a magnesium oxide formula. There's so many different types of magnesium out there. We actually have done another video on magnesium. We'll put the link to that as well because it is an essential mineral that our bodies need. We take the magnesium oxide specifically to help keep our regularity going. And it, it works. It works. We also try our best to take a digestive enzyme before every meal to help us get maximum absorption from our food because our stomach acid tends to decrease as we age and it just aids in really getting, again, ultimate nutrition. Another product that we really like is called Concentrate Mineral Drops. We need trace minerals in our body, and there is a plethora of them that you probably never even heard of, but our bodies need those little tiny, tiny minute bits of minerals on a regular basis. Our vegetable, fruit supply, everything that's grown is really grown in minerally depleted soils. So we need to supplement with a mineral uh, supplement. These drops, you just put them in water, juice, tea, coffee, and we take those every single day. And to partner with those minerals, we take Bioplasma cell salts because it helps actually get the liquid that you're drinking with those minerals in it to the cellular level. And so it's just a little homeopathic tablet we take a couple times a day. I keep it in my drawer right by the sink where I fill up my filtered water. Selenium is another essential mineral that both Dan and I take. In fact, our naturopathic doctor said we needed it every single day. 
It really helps to support the brain as well as the cardiovascular system. There's lots of studies out there that say it helps with thyroid and potentially even cancer prevention. We also try our best to take just a simple multivitamin mineral supplement every day. We'll provide the link to the one we're taking now. It's just one capsule a day because it just kind of fills in the gaps for one, when we forget to take something or just choose not to take something for a day or we're traveling, or two, we're missing you know, some of those nutrients. And so it just fills in the nutritional gaps. Now this next product is one that I take every single day and Dana takes occasionally. It is Lavidia Hunger Control Formula. This is something that really, really helps with allowing me to feel satisfied. I have really insatiable hunger and it's the only thing that kind of works for me. It's non-stimulant. It basically sends a message from your gut to your brain that you're satisfied. It's all natural, made from amino acids and some other natural ingredients. And again, really just love this formula. Well, I'm going to spin through six supplements that I take every single day that Robin doesn't take. The first one is called NAC. It's N-acetylcysteine. It actually stimulates your body to produce uh, the mother of all antioxidants, glutathione. But I take it specifically because I have a cardiac risk factor that's genetic. And my naturopath said, let's add this supplement and see what happens. And it did bring my levels into a, a much better zone. It also has some benefits for the respiratory system and just antioxidant benefits in general. I also take DHEA, which is a stress hormone that you can buy over the counter, and we tend to diminish in DHEA as we age, so my naturopath has me taking 15 milligrams a day. It is not uncommon for women, especially 50 plus, to need this because it's a precursor kind of a hormone that helps you produce a natural levels of some of the other hormones in your body. It also has an anti-aging benefit. On occasion, because of some genetic issues, I can have some blood pressure spikes that I want to handle naturally. So I take a product by North Star Nutritionals called BP120, and it includes some grape seed extracts, some garlic and celery, and it does seem to kind of modify when my blood pressure is up a little bit. Again, I've got some great genetics, but I've also got some challenging genetics, which is a little bit of... Uh, high cholesterol, especially in the area of my LDL, which is considered the bad cholesterol. So instead of taking statin drugs, which have been known to cause many side effects to include an increased risk of Alzheimer's, which I want to avoid for sure, I'm taking a natural product called red yeast rice. And it has brought down my LDL count 40 points in just eight months and my total cholesterol as well. I choose to take melatonin every night about three milligrams before I go to bed and it just helps me get to sleep a little bit more quickly, but I also take it because it is also known to have some anti-aging benefits and I need all the help I can get. So one of the supplements I take every single day, I take it twice a day, is a multi-fiber supplement. It's a powder and it helps to bulk up my stool. I also believe it helps with the detoxification um, as my body is releasing toxins in the body and I wanna get those out so and keeps that colon area very healthy. Because I am still in perimenopause and my hormones are just all over the road, it seems like every day and every week and every cycle is different, I take a formula called Feminescence Pro. Maca Life is what it's actually called. And it is a maca formula. Maca is a herb that is supposed to help balance the hormones in this phase of my life. They have other formulas for younger women and other formulas for women that are actually through menopause, but this is the one I take and it seems to be helping me get through this crazy time. And I'll just mention I took it post-menopause when I was coming off bioidentical hormones just for the transition and it was very helpful. And then I transitioned off that and here I am 16 years post-menopause not taking any menopausal type things. So there's hope for those of you out there hot flashing. <laughs> I also take a chewable supplement that is called methyl B12 and methyl folate. And you know why I take it? Because my naturopathic doctor told me to take it uh, is the main reason. But the other reason is I have a genetic mutation 
which about 30% of the population has. It's called the MTHFR gene. And I have two copies of it, one from both parents. But it does affect homocysteine levels. It can cause your homocysteine levels to be high, which is a risk for heart disease. So that's why I take it. There's some other benefits as well. And folate is the natural form of folic acid, which I guess I can't digest because of that gene. So you have to take it that way. So you t- have to take it as folate. Mm-hmm. So for those of you that have that gene, hopefully maybe that's a little bit of information you'll want to research on your own and ask your doctor. And then I also take a supplement called 5-HTP. Now I only take it for two weeks out of the month. I actually take it two weeks before I am due for my monthly cycle. It's a natural amino acid that our body has, but we tend to uh, have less of it as we age, and it helps to raise serotonin levels. So that'll affect like um, depression, anxiety, sleep disorders, mood is what it's supposed to help with. And that's why I take it those two weeks before my period. I feel like when I take it, that it seems to make that PMS just a little bit more subtle and give me just more of a steady uh, emotional state. Okay, that was a huge list, exhaustive list. We're almost done. Four things that Robin and I sometimes take. And you already heard Robin mention collagen 2. Well, collagen peptides 1 and 3 are for, actually for the skin and the hair and all those things that we definitely care about. Connective tissue, and um, that can supposedly help with reducing the appearance of cellulite. Yeah, so we have taken it. I do notice when I take it sometimes that my skin trigger looks a little bit better. And why do I not take it sometimes? Because I forget because we take a lot of things. But it is it is a great product and we'll provide the link as with many of the things we take. Kyolic garlic is a supplement that Dana and I always have on hand. Now it's not something we take every single day, but if we feel like we're coming down with a cold or the sniffles or anything at first sign, I will literally take six of those capsules right away because the garlic is supposed to build up your immune system and fight off infection. And I might take six, two to three times a day at the onset of a cold or flu type of symptom. It's nature's penicillin. The next one is MCT oil, medium chain triglycerides, which is really why most of us are now adding coconut oil to our diets. But the MCT oil is a more complete total medium chain triglyceride that you can take as a daily supplement. It's great for brain health, metabolism. Uh, There's many, many touted benefits. We've done a lot of research and have found that the MCT oil that is made with C8, carbon 8 componentry, is the most efficient at helping your body to create ketones. And The ketones is what you want for the brain health and metabolism and all of that. Last, but certainly not least, we use a supplement called Empower Spray. Now, the reason we don't use it all the time is because we don't have the need for it all the time. It is literally willpower in a bottle for overcoming sweet cravings. When you spray it in your mouth, it takes all of the sweetness out of any foods that you're eating that are sweet. And so... Basically, it takes away the motivation to eat anything sweet. So I'll use it when I go out to dinner and I don't want to have dessert. I'll spray it before dessert. If I'm having one of our delicious, say, sun cookies and I only want to eat one instead of two or three, I'll have the one and then I spray it at that time. So that's why we don't use it every single day because it just depends on what we're in the need for. Well, we hope you found this long list of supplements helpful, maybe something food for thought, so to speak. If you have any questions, we encourage you to post your comments below. And again, we've provided links to many of the products that we are taking. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well as the little bell, which is going to notify you every time we post a new video. 